Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out the Pest to Pet Mousetrap invented by a YouTube viewer. It's a really fun idea. It's made out of 3D printed parts and a modified pet hamster exercise wheel. The kind where you put the hamster inside and it can run around the house getting its exercise and then you put it back in its cage. Now the idea is the mouse will go inside in this trap door, take the bait, a spring will push the ball out, close the door, and then the mouse can run around the barn until I check it in the morning. I'll have to find the ball, hopefully with the mouse inside. Now this mouse trap was invented by a YouTube viewer named Jerome, who has a blog called spidersinspace.com. In the past, I featured some of his other mouse trap ideas, including a 3D printed box that's closed with a rubber band, but propped open with a pretzel. When the mouse goes inside and chews the pretzel, the door closes and we got it. He also came up with a really fun mouse trap that's powered by a helium balloon. When the mouse takes the bait, the balloon goes up and closes the door. So it's no surprise, Jerome came up with another wacky method for catching mice. He tends to focus more on making a fun mouse trap than a killer mouse trap. And I can't wait to test it out. The mouse will enter right here in the door, we'll push it open. It's held closed with a magnet. In the back here, it's mounted to a board and it's held to the ball with a string and there's a spring back there. In front of the string, there's a bait cup with peanut butter. The mouse will go inside, chew on the string, it will cut it, the spring will push the ball out and it will close. Then the mouse can run around but can't get out because of the door and the magnet. To set our trap, we'll pull the ball apart. It's held with some tape. Take off the front. And in the back here, you can see the two holes in the bait cup. We'll add some new peanut butter. Now in the back piece, there's two holes that line up with this piece, the blue part and the spring. We're gonna match that up, put the spring right in there and thread the string through the hole. There, now when the mouse chews on the string, it will release the spring. As the ball rolls, the door will shut and the mouse can have fun. Now Jerome was actually kind enough to make three traps that mount to this board. They slide in right here. Now I want to test it out with our pet mice. I'll see if they go in there. I'll cut the string for them and see if the ball rolls and the door closes. Climb on in there. The wild mice will be more motivated by food. But when they chew on the string there, it rolls and closes. Then we got the mouse and we have three chances to get them with a 3D printed pest to pet mouse trap. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch some wild mice. Well, last night we did catch a mouse in our pest to pet mouse trap. They went in all three traps, but this is the only one we actually caught a mouse. And we didn't catch it by it chewing on the string. Instead, it turned back and closed the door behind it. Later, it did chew through the string, but the ball didn't roll around the barn. Mice are much too small. This is more for a hamster or maybe a gerbil. Now, what we caught is a native deer mouse. So let's go set the deer mouse we caught in our pest to pet mouse trap free. There he goes. So here's a funny update. I left the other two traps in the barn. I didn't have the motion camera set up, but when I checked them, the balls were rolling around. Both of them work perfectly. The mice have been chewing on the 3D printed parts trying to get out. They're native deer mice, so we're gonna let them go. So we went three for three with this trap. 
take that tape off here. You can see how much he chewed right there. And now this one. In both cases, these chewed through the string. Whoa, jumped on me. Again, you can see it really chewed on that 3D printed part. Well, overall, we had a lot of fun testing out Jerome's pest to pet mousetrap. It's a very creative idea, unique and different, and a lot of fun. And we've proven it does work. There are some concerns though. First of all, anytime you have a live catch mousetrap made out of plastic, the mice are gonna chew, especially 3D printed parts. You can see how it's been gnawing around here. And there's plastic everywhere. Also, it's kind of tricky to set with that spring and tying the string. He did include a bracket so you can hold it down. It makes it much easier, but even then it's a lot of work. We're not trying to make the best, most efficient mousetrap, just a really fun mousetrap. And that's what he's done. I thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the people who have sent me pictures of their cats watching Mousetrap Mondays. It seems I have a huge fan base of both people and animals. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.